Hey, Travis, Tony here with Groove Web Services. I'm just shooting you that video that I promised you. I hope you're well. I see you're out of Fort Collins, Colorado. I spent the last 21 years down in Colorado Springs until um, my family and I packed up and moved out to Florida um, this March. So missing it a bit, but uh, you know, new, new journeys. Um, I do work uh, closely with a hardwood floor refinisher out of Colorado Springs still. So, um, you know, I sort of understand your line of work here, uh, having worked with somebody for the last um, almost two years. So. Um, what we're here to do today, I want to go over the three main factors Google looks at when ranking a website. Um, let's go ahead and just get started. Factor number one is content. It is content is king, uh, is what we say in the digital marketing game. Content is anything on your homepage, uh, words, uh, pictures, videos. We suggest about 1500 words on the homepage. I don't see that. I think you might have between three to four, maybe 500 words. Um, it also includes um, the uh, any text behind your images here. So when you when you save the image and then uploaded it to your site, this was the name of the, the, the image. You can actually name the image keywords that uh, or phrases that customers might search for sort of hide them behind the scenes. This is a good way to hide some keywords that don't look or feel right in the main text of the, uh, the body of the page. So that's a little, little trick. There's also alt text behind the images where you can store some others. But uh, yeah, you could use more, more keywords here. Um, you know, I see you've got some reviews down here, but that's not going to do you much good. Um, one of your main co uh, competitors, uh, especially for the refinishing keywords, uh, they're, they're doing a little bit more maybe, but still not that much. So they wouldn't be that hard to beat. Um, so that's a good thing that that would make it a little bit cheaper or less time intensive to, to get your site updated. Um, the second factor is, uh, something called a citation. A citation is your name, address, and phone number listed on directory websites. So it's essentially the yellow pages, but online. There's like 400 of these things for the US alone. Um, what what I would normally do if I was working for somebody is um, there's tools out there that show you what uh, directories your, your uh, competition's in. And I would go and get those same directory listings for you and then add uh, a decent amount on top of that just to beat them out. We don't want to just match your competition. We want to beat them so that we can outrank them. What these citation gets you is uh, it's a it's a good ranking factor for this map pack. So I'm hoping you have a Google My Business listing. If you don't, you should go out and get one. They're free. Um, once you have one, getting these citations is important. It helps get you up to the top three here, which is uh, where a majority for local lead generation, for, for, for local service uh, companies, where a majority of the clicks come from. Um, so a lot of people think it's ads, but in all honesty, a lot of people have ad blockers, so they never see them. Others have had bad experiences with them, so they don't even click on them. They tend to go down here. Um, so the third factor is uh, backlinks. So backlinks are a vote, essentially a vote for your website from another website. So you'll, your website URL, perennialhardwood.com, could be out there on a hardwood floor manufacturing website or something to that effect. Um, that would be a vote for your website. The more of these backlinks you have from trusted uh, sources, especially ones that are niche specific, so if, you know, hardwood floor related stuff or contractor type sites, those are more powerful than like getting a backlink from Pizza Hut or something like that, where that the, the two you guys don't have much in common with Pizza Hut as far as niche is concerned. So Google sees that kind of stuff and tends to add more power for niche relevant uh, backlinks. So those two thing, uh, those three things are the main powerhouse uh, factors. There's others, but um, what I wanted to show you real quick is this tool called AREFs. This is a tool that uh, reads essentially Google's data and tries to paint a picture of what's going on with your website. Uh, and it is running super slow right now. I should have been on this page already. So your website, 
the, you have 14 total backlinks from a, a grouping of four different domains. So some of the domains, all of the domains have probably more than one uh, instance of your URL on them. So this number is the really important one. The more of these domains you have, the better. Um, you've got 39 keywords that you are uh, being found for, for a total traffic value of two. So you're not doing the hottest when it comes to backlinks and um, that's really hurting your chances of getting those that that organic traffic so for example this keyword here you it gets searched about 20 times a month and uh, you're in position seven getting about one click uh, on average at that position you need to be at position one or two to get any uh, any tangible value out of having these keywords uh, being found for these keywords another big one is hardwood flooring fort collins 80 searches a, a month this kd is keyword difficulty this one is super easy to rank for zero out of 100 this one is 17 out of 100 that's about medium you're in position 18 um, you actually went down one since last month which is getting you essentially no clicks and so on and so forth each of these are separate keywords that are providing would provide you some value if you were up in the rankings but you're not um, your competitor has 46 domains with for a total of 101 backlinks, 90 keywords they're being found for, and you can see this organic tra traffic value is uh, quite a bit higher than yours uh, due to that. A lot of what they're getting found for is this very generic keyword that is not specific to your area, so I would sort of discount this to tell you the truth. But hardwood flooring Fort Collins there in third position. They were in first. I don't know why they fell back. Getting about eight clicks. Hardwood flooring, Fort Collins, 20 uh, searches, first place, six clicks, so on and so forth. So they're, they're pretty high up. And I'm going to tell you something. These guys are not that powerful, so they wouldn't be that hard to, to, to beat out. So that's that. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out. I'm happy to help. If not, no harm, no foul, if you just take this information and see what you can do with it to help yourself out. Um, but again, happy to help. I hope this was uh, useful to you, and I hope you have a great rest of your day and rest of your week. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.